What's up everybody and welcome to a slice of toast because this is going to be a short review of this toy from something that I'm not familiar with. So tell us toast, what is this toy? This is Vaxeldan from the Amazon Vox Machina show. From who? Oh, this is McFarlane. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes. All right. One of his uh, licenses. Okay. Which I hope he continues because he's done four so far. There's seven in the main cast. Not counting Trinket. Trinket. There's a, right. there's a bear. The bear waits outside. <sighs> okay. I, I hope the line continues because there's some others that I would like to get. Other characters that I like as well. This doesn't look too bad. I like this, kind of. It's a little stale, a little bland in the color palette, but I'm assuming that's how the character might look. I don't know. Yes. Um, the problem I have with him and with Percy is they're both kind of weirdly legged. Hmm. So he's kind of bow-legged, and he's very thin. But I'm going to have him pose dynamically, and he'll be on the stand. He also has these small feet. He's uh, I unboxed him today, and he's already fallen over three times while on the stand. <laughs> yeah, he's got kind of loose ankles, too. So... Design-wise, he looks right. This is, I think, season one, not the season two outfit, so it's fine. Okay. He's got two knives for accessories. There's a third knife here in the back. Uh -huh. so, so he's got sheaths for two. Okay. Comes with three. Interesting. But yeah, he he looks right. He's got standard McFarlane articulation. Cool. Pretty happy with it. The paint is a little sloppy. So over over here, there's some slop, and then on the green. Mm. Standing next to some other fucking toys. You can see here that the women have normal legs. Oh yeah. I don't know why he's stylized and Percy is stylized, but the women look great. And she's standing without a stand, the one on the end. So she is. So McFarlane is usually 7-inch. NECA is usually 7-inch. War Duke is pretty big. We've also got Marvel Legends. So you can see there, they are for real 7-inch. Cool. Even though Vax has a smaller head than Warlock. McFarlane's small head syndrome. Is that a running thing with him for real? Most, I thought you had, I thought it was... Most figures. So like Gladiator Superman, the legs are super long. Okay. I think most McFarland figures have proportion problems. Do you have an opinion about this? <laughs> are we recording? Still. <laughs> oh, um, not really. I mean, I think it's fine. It's better than Medieval Spawn. There's probably less sculpted detail and stuff. Oh, for sure. But uh, there's just more pain, even though it's not necessarily done well and all the other I think. I could be wrong. I, I just was really chaffed by Medieval Spawn. The fact that like his gauntlet or his uh, leg gauntlets I guess weren't painted his boot. Yeah. That is now a pile of pieces on my desk being painted. <laughs> there you go. So I'll give him a 3 out of 5. I think that's fair. There's nothing well I was going to say there's nothing wrong with him but just the bow-leggedness. And yeah. I don't know... Well, this ankle's weak. <laughs> Maybe three's being generous. But I don't know if it's packaging, if you just got bent while in the package, because these things ship posed. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that can be fixed with heat, if he can be straightened out. Um, this ankle is just weak, though. Sure and uh, I don't know. I'll knock it down to... Two and a half. <laughs> but he, he'll look fine once posed as long as he doesn't fall over um, with the rest of them. But I do hope that McFarland finishes off the main cast. He'll get them all. I hope. Yeah. Most likely. I bought Percy in order to make a custom. Uh, so I don't actually have a Percy with the rest of the cast. I see. Just because I didn't think he looked that great. He was one of the first. He was the first wave. These are the second wave. And 
it's clear that the the production numbers are much lower for mm -hmm. these because mm -hmm. these her and Percy are on clearance everywhere, everywhere and they're sold out mm -hmm. so it's not character selection it's production numbers sure I just hope he hasn't lost the license hmm. and and the cast gets finished off because um, there's no pre-orders up for anyone else interesting well, let us know in the comments below if you have any insight into it or if you have any thoughts about these figures at all. And uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.